Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today, we're diving into the coolest next-gen tech in the crypto space. From brand new AI tools to must-have apps, play-to-earn games, NFTs, DeFi, wallets, tokens, and everything, blockchain and Web3 related. But before we dive in, make sure to hit that subscribe and like button. Are you ready? All right, let's get started. Today, I want to talk about something that's got a lot of people in the art world freaked out. AI is replacing artists. Yeah, it's not just a sci-fi plot anymore, this is actually happening. AI generated art is stealing the spotlight, and some people say it's stealing jobs too. Let's break it down. So here's the thing, AI or artificial intelligence has been popping up everywhere. News, tech, blogs, even big summits like the G7. The predictions expect that, that by 2025, AI could take over millions of jobs worldwide. That's a lot. And then there's an Oxford University study that predicts AI could wipe out 47% of jobs in the United States over the next 20 years. Talk about a domino effect, right? I've seen a lot of my friends just suffering because their work is so prominent and they struggled for 10 years or more trying to get their style just to see someone else parading, wearing their face and parading it, right? There is nothing stopping ad companies from taking whatever you own from the internet, downloading it and putting it into their training model. Nothing, really. We're putting the whole creative future of humanity at risk here. Now let's talk about AI-generated art. Some folks say it's not real art because it's made by algorithms, not humans. And others are like, AI art is stealing from human artists. Because it uses their work to create something new without giving them credit or paying them. Sounds like a big problem, doesn't it? This is where it gets real for artists. When AI can create art quickly and cheaply, it's a threat to anyone who's been doing it for years. It's kind of like how automobiles replaced horse carriages or how elevators made lift operators obsolete. Progress doesn't care about your feelings, and artists are feeling the pressure. Not everyone agrees, though. Some people think AI art is just another tool, like a camera or a computer. But when someone as big as Marquez Brownlee, you know, the tech reviewer with over 18 million subscribers, says something negative about AI, people go nuts. He got a lot of backlash for his comments, with people calling it unethical to criticize AI art because it's the future. But seriously, if AI is taking artists' jobs, shouldn't we be talking about it? The thing that freaks me out is how good AI-generated art is getting. Generative adversarial networks, or GANs, are creating images that look crazy real. Ever seen those deepfake videos? Yeah, they use the same technology, it's getting harder and harder to tell what's real and what's not. No wonder people are worried. Now, to be fair, there's a positive side to AI. The World Economic Forum says AI could create 95 million new jobs by 2025. Plus, AI can actually help artists by automating the boring stuff, giving them more time to focus on creativity. So it's not all bad news, but you've got to wonder, will these new jobs be for artists or just for the folks building the AI? Anyway, the cat's out of the bag. AI art is here, and whether you love it or hate it, we've got to deal with it. What do you think? Is AI art a threat to human creativity, or is it just the next step in technology? Let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more tech talks. Catch you later.